Hello everyone, today's review will feature a new kit from Special Hobby, as you can see it's Fuga CM175 Zephyr and this is um, a 170 second scale model kit. So as you can see it's packed into this typical designed uh, box and we have this nice beautiful box art and it's also mentioned here that uh, this edition it contains French naval aviation marking options. Moreover, here on the back side of the box we have all four marking options available. As you can see they are more or less similar, at least uh, those red accents are different and maybe some minor things. So that's side opening box. Just give me a second to open it. Uh, box is quite heavy so it's interesting to see what's inside. And inside we find plenty of the screws. Assembly manual. Let's check it first. Assembly manual because it was easy to reach and I think it will have some interesting features. So here as you can see on the first page manual contains short history note which is written in Czech and English. Then comes parts map and assembly process starts. Assembly instructions are more or less understandable, so I think it will be easy to guess what you have to do on this or that step. And of course masks are not provided, but uh, there are some resin accessories available for this model. As you can see resin seats and resin wheels. And marking options are given on the last pages. One, two, three. I just wonder how it come that only three versions are shown there. Nevertheless, don't uh, be afraid because all four marking options are displayed on the back side of the box as we saw before. Now let's move on to the sprues. So as you can see, uh, transparent sprue is packed into a separate bag. The same can be said about decals. But let's first start uh, with this grey plastic spruce because they contain interesting parts for the model. So, uh, first will be the sprue which contains, I guess, this is a uh, left fuselage half. As you can see, it's molded together with engine gondola. Here are wing parts. Or I guess uh, those are tail wings, as you can see, they have special slots which will have uh, this proper position on the fuselage. And of course wheels, landing gear wheels are also very nice. And here you can see cockpit base. Some molded in features on the side walls, but I guess there will be available uh, P set for the improvement of detailization. Here you can see bottom wing half. As you can see, recess panel lines are present here. Here are the dashboards, quite simple ones, but don't forget that it's 70 second scale, so nothing special here. And of course, we need gear legs, some other minor parts. Here you can see no segment which is molded as a one piece and here are two other parts very nice molding quality and I have nothing to complain about here I mean parts are clean and I think it will be easy to separate them from the sprue and install on the model uh, here are another wing halves those are top Obviously, as you can see, they feature some minor um, wheel wells detailization and they also feature molded in ailerons and flaps. As you can see, also position pins will be used for the proper alignment. And again, as you can see, my even minor elements are molded as a uh, separate parts, so I guess they should do good on the assembled model. And was sprue. This one contains right fuselage half. 
the same digitalization on the previous one as on the previous one. Uh, position pins are present, so it will be easy to align them together. Here you can see separate wheel wells parts. And also some landing gear doors, other minor elements, seats which are molded as a one piece. And some air intake parts. Then we have transparent sprue. This model is interesting because even though it's 170 second scale and some manufacturers say that it's uh, better to mold a model with closed canopy, this one will be possible to assemble with open canopy too. And as you can see all transparent parts are molded in excellent quality. So I think they will good after proper marking, I mean masking and painting. And last but not the least is the decal sheet, which is not big, but it features all necessary symbols for four marking options as you can see, even some minor stencils and even decals for the dashboard and some side panels I guess. As you can see printing quality is very good, uh, they are printed in AVI print. So that's all for this kit, uh, don't forget to check full review article on our website. And as usual, I would like to advise you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group. It will help us. Thank you and thank you for watching once again. See you soon.